<laughs> hey! You wanna know, say hi to the people? You all look like Peter. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Little Carter, and today we're gonna be doing his four month update. Alright guys, so I'm going to start from when he was a newborn up to his first month. So when I was pregnant, I did decide that I wanted to breastfeed. Um, when he was born, we did skin the skin, but Carter didn't latch. So he didn't latch that day or that night, so basically the nurses gave me formula. And he started off on the regular Infamil, the yellow one. But it was too hard on his stomach, so he was really gassy, he was really fussy. So when we left the hospital, we went to CVS and we were going to get the Infamil gently spawn. But something was going on with Infamil at that time. I think something, something was wrong with the formula or something like that. And it was on the shelf, so we ended up getting the CVS brand of the gently And that was actually really good for him. So he was only really breastfed for three weeks. And then... He's been on formula ever since. But since I'm a Target girl, um, I switched him to the Target, tar, Target, whatever. But the Target formula, you know, is real fancy. But he's on the Gentilis, um Target brand. So he's been doing that. Um, when he was a newborn, he was eating every two hours, literally. I cannot explain how sleep deprived I was. Like, I know all moms are. It's just, you can't even prepare for that level of no sleep like you really can't but anyway he was eating every two hours he still does basically eat every two hours sometimes he stretches it out but he was he was just eating all day every two hours he's mostly sleep during the day and then um when he was almost one month he did develop really bad baby acne he had it all over his face he had it on his legs he had it on his arms his back so I got really, really nervous. I called the doctors, made sure, you know, it was the same size. It wasn't itchy or anything. He did have really dry skin just because he was overdue. So, you know, their, their skin starts peeling and stuff. So, um, well, his did. I'm not sure of all babies, but his skin was peeling and everything. But he just had a lot of bumps. And he had it for like probably like a month and a half, but eventually it went away. So then when he was one month, baby boy started smiling. Oh my God, I love his smile. But yeah, he finally started smiling. You know, babies smile through their sleep and stuff, but he was actually smiling during the day. Um, he was sleep, he was mostly sleep during the day, honestly. He took like, probably like two, three hour long naps. Then we wake up for a little bit, maybe like an hour, eat, then go back to sleep. I need my fingers so I can check my notes papa <laughs> also when he was one month oh yeah his hunger increased so he was eating I would say one and a half to two ounces basically and then one day literally his hunger just took off like I don't know if it was similar basically to cluster feeding when you're breastfeeding and they're kind of on your boob all day um, but he would drink two ounces and then he would be okay for maybe 20 minutes and then he would cry and cry and you know he was changed he was all of this he wasn't sleepy or you know he was just real fussy but then he would eat again he would like eat another ounce so I got really nervous because I didn't want to overfeed him or I don't and like as a new mom I just felt like oh my god like what if I'm feeding him too much what if his stomach because his stomach isn't but so big like I was freaking out but basically I think his hunger just increased and that was okay. So since then he's been eating four ounces. Well, he didn't jump to four ounces. He jumped to like three, three and a half, and then, and then four. But basically that was his first month. Um, oh, he also was standing. So ever since he was three weeks, literally, once you put him up to stand, he just now, well, now he jumps. But he just loved to stand. Right there. Now he jumps. <laughs> but he just loves standing. So he would stand and then it would seem like he was trying to walk. And oh, ever since then, he just gets excited. So I'm pretty sure he's... I feel like he's going to walk early, honestly, because he's just always on his... His legs are so strong, y'all. Literally, in the morning, he kicks the crap out of me. Like 
he does sleep with me, but he, uh, it's like he got still toes. Like, he just be kicking me in the same spot. <sighs> anyway, but that's my baby boy's first month in update. Right? All right, baby boy got tired. <laughs> um, This really is his nap time anyway, but we're going to start with two months. So... Like I said, he was already standing on his legs a lot. Um, he, it was just, I don't know. It was just something he liked to do. So he still did that at two months. Um, two months he started laughing. Like, you know when babies just get that infectious laugh, like from the tummy, like, oh my God, I love his laugh. It's so adorable. But he started laughing. Um, he was awake more during the day. So he didn't sleep throughout the whole night. But I think he only woke up like twice. It wasn't as bad as before. Um, but he was awake more during the day. So I would say he was awake maybe like three, three hours. And he would take maybe like two or three good naps during the day. And then he was on and off throughout the night. Um, I said that already. Oh, when we went to the doctor, he did get his shots and everything. And Carter was 13 pounds and 13 ounces when we went to the doctor so he had already gained like six pounds basically so he was getting heavy yeah shorty's heavy and um he's heavier now obviously but we'll get into that he was 22 inches when we went to the doctor and by that time he started like noticing you know how they notice their hands and stuff so he started noticing his hands he's eating his hands and sucking his fingers so he started like kind of putting his thumb in his mouth not all the time but he was definitely trying to like eat his whole hand like he's not just trying to eat one finger two fingers at that time he was trying to like fit his whole hand in his mouth but other than that um Connor was just mostly chilling I feel like he was mostly chilling because right now he he's not chilling at all he's very active all right so for three months so three months um, we're going to talk about him laughing, but three months, let me tell y'all something, he started screaming. I know a lot of babies do this, but, like, I guess they can, like, finally hear their voice and recognize their voice, but he literally just started screaming at the top of his lungs as loud as he can, and he still does that now, like, usually when he gets tired, um, he just kind of just lays there and just screams, like, I don't know, I don't know if that's how he gets himself tired or whatever, but he's... He's a screamer sometimes. Um, also at three months, so before, he was on a pretty good sleep schedule. He was waking up. Well, I'm not a morning person, so I'm not even going to lie. I kind of trained him to wake up late. Because <laughs> every time he woke up early, I was like, uh-uh, mm -mm, we're about to go back to sleep. So he would wake up, I would say probably like 9 or 10, but he was going to sleep late. Um, because I'm a late person, so we were both going to sleep probably like... He even went to sleep around like 10 or 11. Woke up once or twice in the nighttime, and then he was pretty much good. But at three months was, yeah, November. So that's when I had to go back to work. And I went back to work for three weeks. And during that time, his whole schedule just, just went out the door. Like, he just decided I'm not on the schedule anymore because I actually was working in Boston. I had to drive to Boston from Pennsylvania basically four hours and I stayed there for a few days and then came back. So he was basically with my mom and his, my grandma's. So basically, you know, they knew his schedule, but he's they're not going to force him, I guess, on his schedule. So he, his, his schedule was totally off by the time I came back. And since then, <laughs> I've been basically trying to put him back on the schedule and it's been the hardest thing ever. I mean, I don't even know. But, yeah, so he did have a good sleeping schedule, but that's out the window now. And the last thing, he started blowing bubbles. So, I think he kind of did start, he started teething at three months um, because he started, like I said, he was trying to put his hand in his mouth. But at that time, then he started putting his fingers in his mouth. And some days he was just a little more fussy than others. And he was just, you know how to get a little cranky. So he did start teething, and then he was just blowing so many bubbles. Like his his drool production is just out of this world. It really is. <laughs> but yeah, so teething, 
and that was pretty much it for three months um he like I said he was still standing so I think at that time going into December I bought a jumper for him I know they're supposed to start at four months but I bought a jumper for him he doesn't really jump in it because he doesn't really know what to do he just kind of like standing there just sits there and like kind of swings but he really really likes it but now he knows that he can jump but he doesn't fully jump yet all right so four months so four months a lot of people do okay so carter's hunger was really out of control for the last few months but I just personally, I know some people put their babies on cereal early. I just personally didn't want to. Um, not that I feel like he couldn't handle it. I don't know. I just kind of just wanted to wait until he got closer to four months. Because I didn't want to do it too early. And then he was, I don't know. Now that I look back at it, I don't really know. But I just didn't want to. But so four months, he basically started cereal. Um, I started putting cereal in his bottle. And then I also started him on solids. So since I wasn't able to breastfeed, I knew I wanted to be a lot more involved in his food and his solids. So I did purchase a baby food processor. Um, I think it's called the Beaba, B-E-A-B-A. -A. So I have the Beaba food processor. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't really know, <laughs> but and I make my make his foods um, myself. So he started off on sweet potatoes. Somebody told me they're supposed to start on applesauce first. Mm, sorry, I don't know why, but I didn't do that. But he started on sweet potatoes. He didn't really like sweet potatoes. Like, I felt like when he started, like, he was hesitant because he's like, oh, like, food. Like, and then he, like, ate it, but he wasn't sure. But now, see, now he's in everybody's plate. He's literally in everybody's plate, but so he didn't really like sweet potatoes, but now that I like, I know he's not allergic to it. The last time I fed it to him, I put a little bit of cinnamon and he likes it better that way with cinnamon and cereal. So he had sweet potatoes, he had pears, which, eh, I mean, he kind of liked them. And then he had carrots. He liked the carrots, like, and well, so... I did buy the Beaba, but for the first two, sweet potatoes, pears, bananas, they were actually, I did buy the organic Gerber ones, only because at that time I had ordered it, but I didn't, um, yeah, I ordered it, but it didn't come yet, so, and I wanted to start him on it, so, those, but I made the carrots and the Beaba, and they just taste, honestly, they just taste so much better, like, the food just tastes so much better when you make it yourself, it just tastes more fresh. And I still bought the organic baby carrots, um, but they just tasted better. So he really, really liked the carrots. And then last week he started bananas, and he loves the bananas. <laughs> like, like he'll start yelling for more bananas. So that's what he's doing now. And today I'm going to make some apples, some applesauce. So he's doing pretty good on the salads. Um, I did buy oatmeal, but I haven't started him on it yet. I think I'm going to kind of wait a little bit because I kind of want to get him through a few more foods first and then I'll start him on the oatmeal um also so that's pretty much it for food milestones he rolls over oh my god like so when we're in the bed at night time he does sleep with me most of the time um I don't know I was just too scared to put him in his crib by himself even though his crib is literally right there but that's another story anyway um so one day he was in his crib. He took a nap. He does take naps in his crib all the time though. But he was in his crib on his stomach and I know he was up but he was just like kind of chilling on his stomach for a minute and when I came back he was on his back and I was like oh my god. So like I turned him back on his stomach to see if he would do it again and he did it again and he rolled over. But since then I haven't seen him do it. So I know that he can do it but I just think that a lot of times I'm not even going to lie we know Papa got a pretty um big head here, so yeah, a lot of times when he try to roll over, his head is preventing that. Or he just doesn't know how to maneuver his head, you know what I'm saying, to roll over all the time. But he does try to roll over from back to front as well. But I haven't seen him complete it yet. Um, he's still screaming. Um, now he's definitely holding things, so I did, his dad got him like a rattle that he holds. I did get him some like toys that make noise 
um and he kind of holds those and he has like i don't have it with me but it's like the little drums that make noise and like he's learning like i'm pressing them and like touching them so he can hear the different sounds and he's learning to touch it like to hit it he's like he wants to but then like he's scared to do it by himself but um he's slowly learning how to do his drums and he's trying to sit up so he can sit up in his boppy pillow like as long as he's supported he can sit up but he can't fully sit up by himself yet so it really just depends but well, he's almost there and yeah also yeah he does touch his feet so when he sits up literally he just goes just like this <laughs> and he starts he's oh i'm sorry he starts touching his feet um yeah he he doesn't like put them in his mouth or anything yet but i know some babies do that but he definitely touches his feet and he also he's in this little thing where he holds my face oh my god it's the most adorable thing ever like he's holding my face like and he's grabbing my hair that's that's the problem that's the problem he's grabbing literally the other day he tried to pull my edges out and I'm like, I'm already going through postpartum hair loss, so we don't need any more hairs coming out. Like, he's pulling my hair at the back, at the front. So, literally, um, I don't really trust him right now, I'm going to be honest, but I don't. But that's pretty much it. So, Carter turns five months and next week. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he turns five months next week, so he is really just growing, like... I'm honestly sad. It feels like the time went so fast. The time in the beginning was kind of slow a little bit, but now I just feel like it's just flying by. And I just, I'm going to miss my baby. But that's Car Carter's four-month update. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope to see you back in the next video.